ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my NXT TakeOver Dallas prediction video. Yes, I'm aware there's one more episode of NXT, which is tomorrow night. Uh, I kind of wanted to get this done out of the way. I've also done the WrestleMania prediction video, so stay tuned to my channel to watch that when it's released. I believe that will be up before this one. So if you want to go and watch that at the end of this video, it'll be on the channel. So you should be able to do it. So that's not a worry. Um, but this one should go up after that one. So I'm trying to get everything out of the way so that I can enjoy WrestleMania. I don't have to try and or WrestleMania week without having to try and get the prediction videos done. Now I do know that one of the matches that has that has you know that is going to be on NXT Takeover Dallas hasn't been announced and it will be announced tomorrow, um, and that is Elias Sampson versus Apollo Cruz. I think it is. Uh, it hasn't been announced until tomorrow. There's no picture or anything up for it. Um, I'm kind of I, I I'm not going to give a prediction on that match because obviously it's not been announced yet. However, if I was to give a prediction for that match, it would probably be Apollo Cruz. I think he's a fantastic wrestler, and I just think he he should get it over Elias Sampson, who's only just been on uh, been on the roster recently, uh, and he's not a big name like uh, Nakamura or um, Corbin. Uh, sorry, uh, Austin Aries. Sorry, wow, <laughs> I don't know why I went for Corbin. Um, so with that f out of the way, I've said that if I'm going to give a prediction, it would be for Cruz. But I can I'm kind of not wanting to give a prediction for that match. So even though I've mentioned that Cruz would probably be my favourite, I'm not counting as a prediction just purely because of that. So moving from that, we're going to go to our first actual match. This is this has definitely been announced, and that is the tag team championship match for the NXT Championships. Um, that was kind of a weird way to say that, but whatever. We've got the revival. I pointed to the wrong side there. We've got the revival, who are the champions, versus American Alpha, or as I like to call them, American Alphas. But obviously. They couldn't afford the S on the posters or whatever. Um, <laughs> the extra S. Um, but yeah, American Alpha uh, versus The Revival. Now, me personally, it has to go to American Alphas. They are really doing... They're crushing it at the moment with, you know, just getting people to like them. Uh, they're a phenom ph phenomenal tag team. And just like the the uh, Mark in me or the, the WWE fan in me, I just kind of want Kurt Angle to just return randomly at the end of this match with when American Alphas are celebrating. I just want Kurt Angle to come out and start clapping and like talk to them and then become their manager. It would be amazing. I'd be so down for it. <laughs> so, you know, as much as I, that's not going to happen, it would be amazing if that did actually happen. And then to, for them to re resurrect the Team Angle gimmick and, um, you know, like they did with Shelton Benjamin and the other guy who I can't remember the name. Was it Haas? Charlie Haas? could be wrong um <laughs> but i don't think the revival are a strong tag team not as strong as american alpha by any stretch of the imagination and so i'm backing american alpha to take the belts off the revival that's just what i think so going from that match we are going to head to this match and i'm also going to be talking about this match as well and there's a reason why i'm going to try and lump these together and that's because these two matches have the same problem uh, in terms of somebody's coming into NXT who's an established superstar elsewhere and they are going to need a strong performance to put them over with the WWE fans that people might not know them from, like Nakamura for instance, um, you know, and obviously Austin Aries. And so as much as I like Baron Corbin, and I really do, and I like Sami Zayn, I really do, I think that both of these guys need to take a loss to Austin Aries and Nakamura, respectively. Um, and, and the reason for that is purely because these guys haven't been on NXT. They're strong characters. They're making sh really big debuts. You know, um, or, you know, Austin Aries, for instance, is making a d big debut on his first takeover. And Nakamura is making his general NXT debut. He's never been seen before on NXT, other than on the Titantron. So both of these guys are going to need hella strong uh, uh, strong performances and that's why I think that Nakamura especially is going to win his match um, Sami Zayn is in a match at Wrestlemania as well so he kind of doesn't need a win here, it looks as if he's on the main roster now and this is kind of his last hurrah at NXT so he doesn't need a win he's on the main roster, Nakamura needs the win, he's only just come to NXT so him getting the win wouldn't be a big deal 
Um, Austin Aries, I think, also is likely to get the win in his match because obviously Baron Corbin isn't a champion or isn't anything like that. So he could take a loss and he'd probably still be able to bounce back from it. But they do need to be careful with Corbin because he has had a few losses recently. And so if Austin Aries was to take a loss on this one, I wouldn't be that much against it. But I think that obviously with it being his first major match on, on a takeover show... It just make, means that, to me, I would say Austin Aries is probably going to win. So I'm backing Nakamura and Austin Aries to, to, to get the win here on these two matches. So going from that match, I'm going to be talking about the Divas. Oh, sh sorry. Oh, wow. Wow. I need to freaking... I need to, re I need to just cut my tongue out for saying that. We're talking the women's title match at NXT TakeOver. And this is between Bailey and as and, and, and Oscar. Now, Bailey is kind of the John Cena, and that's why I'm wearing this shirt, by the way. <laughs> Bailey's kind of the John Cena of NXT, um, and it, ultimately, it's going to come down to the fact of is WWE going to move her to the main roster? Now, if they are on the first episode, on the first Raw after WrestleMania, she does head to WrestleMania. It would make sense for her to lose the title to Oscar um, if they're keeping her at NXT. Then I'm sorry, Oscar, but Bailey needs to retain. I don't think since Oscar's debuted on NXT, I don't actually think she's accomplished much. Um, she's not been in major, major. Pardon me. She's not been in major, major storylines, and I'm kind of not sold on Oscar. Um, the way I am with Bailey, um, it's all going to come down to whether or not they're going to move move Bailey to the main roster or not. Um. And I'm such a mark, I know, for having a John Cena shirt, but I don't care. I actually do respect the guy an awful lot. Um, but so I know that there's going to be people in the comments. Uh, you know, if uh, if I get any comments on this video, it's going to be, "Why are you wearing a John Cena shirt? He's he's such a bad wrestler. He's never changed." Yada yada yada. Yes, I know, but he's a, he does awesome charity work, and I respect him a hell of a lot for that. Um, <laughs> just just saying that that's why I got the shirt. It's not nothing to do with his wrestling or anything like that. It's purely because I respect the hell out of the guy. Um, also, it was only seven quid on Amazon, so yeah. <laughs> that being said, tangent uh, aside, uh, it's all going to come down to whether Bailey's moving the main roster. If she is, then it makes sense to move the title over so they don't get a thing that they did with Paige all them years ago, about two years ago to be precise, where Paige debuted with the with the NXT Women's Champion and NXT had to kind of strip her of the title. I can't see them doing that again. So if Bailey is moving to the main roster, I think she's going to take a loss at NXT on 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 Friday. And I don't think people would be upset with it either because I think initially people might be upset with Bailey losing, but as soon as she debuts on the main roster, I think people will just click with it and go, "Oh, she only lost because you know she's she's moving to the main roster." And f to have her alongside of Sasha Banks, uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Page, it would just be an it would just be amazing. So again, uh, it's all going to come down to that. I personally feel that it's not the right time to bring Bailey to the main roster just yet. Maybe around SummerSlam, but not yet. Especially with the whole hot potato thing going on with Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and possibly Paige. That I, you know, I just think there's too many good divas there at the moment. At the moment at ma uh, on the main roster, and I'm not sure how they could get Bailey's character across to a main roster audience. Um, but once all that's figured out, I'm sure she'll be okay uh, on the main roster. Uh, but I just don't think the time is just there just yet. So I think she should stay at NXT for just a little bit longer. Not be not that she doesn't deserve to go to the main roster. Just think that logistically wise and WWE don't know what they're doing with the divas they've got. I just don't. I wouldn't want Bailey to go to uh, the main roster and get lost in the shuffle. Not that I think she would, but I just don't want that. So I think personally, Bailey retains here, carries on NXT, and it kind of seems like a rushed together match because Oscar and Bailey aren't heels or faces i mean both of them are, both of them it seems to be faces unless i've missed some on nxt and the, which is entirely possible i just don't think personally that um oscar's the right person to take bailey's championship that being said uh now that i've given my prediction to be bailey we're going to move right ahead to the next match which is the main event this is finn balor versus samoa joe I'm not really that bothered about this match. <laughs> now, again, as I mentioned before, uh, it, you know, with Bailey, it's pretty much the same scenario. However, there's a difference, a slight difference. 
in the fact that Samoa Joe is definitely the right person to take the title off uh, Finn Balor. But it's going to come down to if Finn Balor is moving to the main roster exactly like Bailey. Um, if, again, he is, fine. Then Samoa Joe should win. If he isn't, I, I honestly don't think that um, if he's staying on NXT, that Samoa Joe should take the title off him. Not just yet. Again, a little bit of time. I think that it all comes down to what they're doing with, with the Bulletproof Club. If they are bringing that in the night after uh, WrestleMania, then obviously, yes, Samoa Joe gets the win. Bullet Club gets formed and they hit main roster running. I'd be down for that. So, again, I know it's not not down. I'm kind of approaching these matches not as, you know, especially the last two, not as a, you know, who's who would be the best person to win out of a wrestling point of view. This is purely logistics. And I know that's a raw, you know, not a good way to do it. But it just makes sense to me that if. Finn Balor is going to the main roster, then yes, Samoa Joe should get the title. Now, if I'm right in all of these predictions, that would mean every title at NXT changes hands this week. If uh, American Alpha is to pick up the win, if uh, Bailey is made name, you know, going over to main roster, then yes, change the title. And again with Finn Balor, yes. So I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on at least one of these matches, especially the title matches. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on one because I can't see them changing all the titles over. But you know what? It has happened before on the main roster. I don't believe it's happened on NXT, but I could be wrong. But what do you guys think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think that, yes, if Bailey's moving, then t- uh, uh, Zaka, uh, Oscar, whatever you, whatever you want to pronounce it, um, do you think she's the right person to the title, or would you have rather seen someone else do it? Same for Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Do you think Samoa Joe is the right person to take the title off Finn Balor if um, Finn Balor's heading to the main roster? Let me know. Put your answer in the comment below. And I'll see you next time after NXT to do my review. So, bye.